Good afternoon everybody, Paul here live from New York, another State of the Aquarium address for my 65 gallon um, community tank. Um, as you can see, things are growing way too well. Uh, everything is growing, uh, including stuff I don't particularly want to grow, but uh, like the, uh, the fuzz algae that's growing on all the, uh, the edges of my Anubias. Let me see if I can get you a decent close-up of that if my camera doesn't uh, start working out here. Come on, focus. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can move the camera in closer. See all that fuzz that's on the edges of my plants. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's pretty much what's on every single Anubius leaf except for all the new growth uh, that's going on in the tank at the moment. I think that that is a direct result of <clears throat> when I pulled all of the sword plants and every and crypts and everything else out of here um, in January when I set up my 210, I think the lack of, you know, with all that plant load uh, that was sucking nutrients out of the tank, it, um, once that was taken out of the equation, it gave that... Um, Give that algae a foothold in the tank, and um, you know, ever since it's been pretty much taking over and dominating all the uh, all the really sharp edges of all my plants. Well, at least the Anubias, anyway, and to a lesser extent the driftwood. However, what I've noticed over the last uh, couple of weeks or so is that the sword tails love this stuff and they, they chew on it and tug at it and break off pieces and eat it you know and seems to make them happy so you know they've been spawning like crazy so whatever makes them happy is fine by me um, let me just show you here cardinals are still doing really well I mean they're kind of hunkered down in that little cave-like section in the center. Um, <clears throat> pretty much uh, they, all they all seem to congregate in there. Uh, I would like to get them out and schooling more, but I think I, in order to do that I need to open the tank up. And that leads me to my second point. Um, what to do? You know, I've had this I've had this tank for a while. I've had it set up like this more or less the last six months with just the Anubias and the Kabamba and the um, Dwarf Sag on the bottom and you know the Java Moss uh, growing on the driftwood there. Um, but I kind of need some new ideas. What to do? Um, I'm thinking about pulling all the Kabamba out and maybe taking one or one of two of the big pieces of driftwood out and kind of start over with this tank um, maybe even pull all the substrate out um, throw in some throw in some either dirt on the bottom um, make this a dirted tank and um, cap it with eco complete like I did with the 210 or maybe just just put in eco complete like I do with the rest of the uh, smaller tanks I have, and you know at this point I'm kind of open to suggestions. Uh, we'll see what happens, but other than that, everything seems to be really really healthy in here. And case in point, the um, sword tails are are what do you call it breeding like crazy, and. 
doing all kinds of wonderful things. Um, very happy with that. And of course, now I'm going to need to find a place to put all the sword tails unless I just take the <clears throat> sword tails as they are right now and put them down in my 210 and let them just breed and provide my uh, angelfish with some baby snack food. But I kind of like the way that the I kind of like the way that the sword tails uh, the the scale pattern for these Berlin tricolor swords are the black is kind of mixed with a iridescent green. So I might try to exploit that and bring that uh, green color pattern out. See if I can make a uh, you know raise a metallic. Uh, version of the uh, these swords here um, you know maybe a couple of 10 20 30 generations down the line um, could come up with an entirely new color strain of uh, sword tails but that's just the mad scientist in me talking um, other than that not a whole lot to report with this tank uh, nerite snails are doing their job uh, hoovering up all the algae that's not green and fuzzy. Um, sword tails are eating all the stuff that's green and fuzzy. And I did add two bushy nosed plecos in here, but I haven't seen them in a couple of days. So we'll see what happens. But as you can see, I also want to show you here real quick. Let's see if you can see that right there. Where he go? Where he go? Ah, there he is. There he is. There's some of the sword tail fry. Right in the center of the picture there. There you go. But that's been pretty much going on all over the tank, so... Um, sword tails are happy, cardinals are happy, white clouds are happy, um, though not as happy as they were eight months ago when they were all, when the cardinals and uh, white clouds were breeding in my tank, uh, in this tank in particular. But other than that, not a whole lot uh, much going on. But I think that's going to wrap it up for me for this uh, short update of the 65 gallon. I figured I'd just let you see what was going on and I'll bring you more updates again next month. So in the meantime, you guys have a great June and I will see you in July. Once again, Paul here signing off from New York City. Have a great June. See you in July. Peace.